Good morning. I just spent some time in prayer and had to rededicate, redevote myself to it. the primary task, which sometimes I forget, the primary task of proclaiming to the world that the Lord is for them. It has been so easy for me, and it is so easy for me, to allow myself to be distracted by minutia that doesn't matter, things that are only that big in the grand scheme of human life. But you and I have the joy, the exuberance of proclaiming something much bigger. I also just read the story of Stephen, the first martyr, who stood before the Sanhedrin and all the Jewish people. And when they asked him, why are you so excited? The text said that Stephen's face started to glow with the glow of heaven. Stephen no longer cared about even his life because he had a bigger message for them. The Lord is for you, not against you. The Lord longs to bless you. And may his blessing be upon you and your children for a thousand generations. I'm going to include a video in this newsletter of all many of the churches within the United Kingdom singing this together, proclaiming this blessing upon the people of the United Kingdom. May you also join me in devoting yourself to not allowing us to be distracted by stuff that doesn't matter majoring in the majors and minoring in the minors. May you join me in devoting yourself to proclaiming that the Lord is for people. And on this day, the Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. The Lord be gracious to you. Lift his countenance towards you and bring you peace. Amen.